This just in, literally you guys, I just got the go ahead on my phone. Speaking of rainbow foods and radiant health, the 2024 Eat Move Rest Costa Rica retreat dates are in. If you are available March 2nd through the 10th, we would love to have you join us for raw foods, yoga, waterfalls, beaches, farmer's market, and so much more. We cannot wait to connect with all of our Eat Move Rest fam in person. We are only doing one Costa Rica retreat this upcoming year, so if you're interested, be sure to click the link below as soon as possible for the chance to get to join us. These retreats always fill up super fast, so be sure to grab your spot in the link below. All right, you guys, who is with me to do lunch better? I know a lot of times we put it off and we procrastinate, we munch and graze or skip it all together or fall victim to fast and efficient options that aren't as nutritious. So the kids and I have finally sat down to enjoy a good lunch and we are sticking to it with this epic meal prep recipe that has been a longtime favorite of mine, but I am committed to doing it now. So I'm enjoying my lunch salad style. The kids are having theirs in wraps. And one thing I always make sure to do is take my compliment with every single meal of the day. We love compliment because it includes the eight critical nutrients that you want to make sure to include in your diet for optimal heart, brain, and immune system function, and nothing more. It cuts all of the fluff because there is such a thing as too much of a good thing, and there are simply some nutrients that we just don't need to overdo it with in our vitamins and supplements. So Complement just has the essentials, everything that you need to optimize your plant-based diet. If you guys are interested in checking out Complement, you can use our discount code and link below in the description. They also have other amazing products. I really love their daily greens powder. It's basically like a shortcut to a green juice in a glass, it's so amazing, it tastes wonderful. So be sure to get on and grab your daily essential to complement, not supplement, your already shining, radiant plant-based diet. Today, what I thought I would do is bring you guys along with me for a lunchtime meal prep recipe. So as of late, whether I'm working from home or I'm on the go, I find myself being either too busy and preoccupied or too lazy to actually eat a solid, dedicated lunch. I know this is the case for a lot of us where we have a solid breakfast, we've got our smoothies and our oatmeal, and we've got a solid dinner like a soup, stew, or curry, but lunchtime is typically when we find ourselves either taking shortcuts or skipping altogether, which can really be detrimental to our health on multiple levels. So today I'm going to commit. Hold me to it, I'll hold you guys to it. Let's get a conversation going in the comments below. Do you struggle with lunch time? What about for your kids? I'm also gonna be showing you three different ways to use this lunch to make it a little bit more varied and like I said, to either eat it at home or take it on the go and to make it super kid friendly. Let's jump right into the recipe. I call it my super seed everything salad. It literally has a little bit of everything. It's very high raw, so if you're into raw foods, this recipe is for you. It has one of every color of the rainbow, but it is also very packed with protein and iron thanks to three super seeds that are actually pseudo grains. So most people think that quinoa, millet, and amaranth are grains, but they're actually seeds and they are powerhouses. In fact, two of them are complete proteins quinoa, and amaranth. Stay tuned until the very end for my latest favorite simple salad dressing. There are three steps to this recipe. Number one, prepping our cooked food. So we're going to be sauteing onion and garlic. That's going to really help all of these flavors combine. And then we're also going to be cooking our quinoa, millet, and amaranth. I also like to add another boost of protein and iron via beans or chickpeas. And today, I'm cooking chickpeas in our Instant Pot. I've talked about this repeatedly, so I usually soak them overnight and then pop them in the Instant Pot. So we're gonna add those in, you can get creative with whatever beans you like. And then we're going to prep our raw ingredients. So like I said, one of every color of the rainbow. I've got cherry tomatoes, fresh picked carrots from our garden, yellow bell pepper, green peas, and purple cabbage. And then the third step is after your lunch is already prepped for the week, each day you go to grab it out, pick a leafy green of your choice. I really love spinach or arugula in this salad. And then adding things like hummus, sauerkraut, nutritional yeast, or like I said, diced avocado or whipped guacamole. So I did a half cup of quinoa, half cup millet, half cup amaranth for a total of one and a half cups. You always wanna cook in a two to one ratio of water to grain or seed. 
So I put three cups of water. We're gonna bring it to a boil, reduce it to medium, and let those cook up and get nice and fluffy. So you can kind of play around with your cooked versus raw veggies. For example, you could do raw onion and garlic, but I find it's a little bit tastier when they're sauteed. You could also use just onion and garlic powder. Or for example, with the carrots, I like to have a little bit of a crisp, crunchy component, so I leave them raw, but you could also add those in and saute them as well. Generally, with a lunch like this, I would still be eating raw fruits beforehand, and that's going to be optimal for digestion as well. So if you do choose to include fruits with your lunch, try to eat them before you eat this salad. So for veggies, I used about one cup of every ingredient. Cherry tomatoes, carrots, bell pepper, peas, and red cabbage. I used an entire small red onion and three cloves of garlic. The seed blend, like I said, was one and a half cups dry. Whenever I cook chickpeas or beans from dry, I start with one cup dry and it makes about three cups cooked. So I'm only gonna add one cup into this recipe. We'll be saving the rest for some kind of dinner recipe incorporation. Now we're just combining all of our cooked components. So this salad dressing is so effortless, it's oil-free and it tastes amazing. All you have to do is grab your favorite store-bought hummus or I have our homemade hummus right here that's in our recipe app. I'm gonna take about two spoonfuls and add it to a mason jar so this is blender-free. We're going to also add in maple syrup or coconut aminos, a crack of pink Himalayan salt, a little bit of water, add the lid on and shake it up. Add sparingly until you get the consistency that you want, either runny or super thick and creamy. So this is method one for how I like to prepare this recipe. This one is best for grabbing on the go. It's also ideal for portion control. So if you are trying to watch calories for weight loss purposes, you could use whatever size mason jar you like. Second method would be to add all of your cooked ingredients and then raw ingredients to a large bowl. Mix it and cover it and keep that in the refrigerator. I love this method because it really helps the juices and flavors to combine and it gets better every day. And it's also great for family style if you have multiple family members wanting to enjoy this meal throughout the week. Third, using a wrap or tortilla is ideal for kids. It makes it very easy for them to get all of this nutrition in one juicy bite, and it helps to kind of disguise some of the ingredients they might otherwise avoid. And the fourth and final way to enjoy this recipe is to add a large scoop of it to a pot on the stove top. Add in as much vegetable broth as you like and heat it on medium and you'll have a nice warm soup for colder weather. And my absolute favorite secret ingredient that I always top my salads with is sauerkraut. So this is locally made, lucky me, but I am gonna dabble in making my own. If you guys have a good sauerkraut method, let me know in the comments. The kids eat this up too. They always wanna steal my salad when I have sauerkraut on top. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this recipe and you plan on making it, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that button up in the corner. Make sure that bell is clicked to turn on notifications so you'll get an alert whenever we put out brand new delicious and nutritious videos. And as always, leave us some love in the comments below. We love to connect with you guys down there. Until next time, eat, move, and rest your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.